guys, it's Cassie. Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber, and happy Halloween. In the spirit of the season, I want to talk about something that most of us never even want to think about, and that is the impending zombie apocalypse. So today I'm going to share with you an entire outfit head to toe that is both fashionable and practical, for surviving the zombies. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put up videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head on down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, let's start with sunglasses. Guys, I have to be honest with you, I don't feel quite like myself today. My voice sounds a little strange, but I decided to make this video for you anyway because it's my job and I will not let you down. Try to imagine you're sitting at home just like now, probably watching a Cassie Thorpe video, and suddenly there's breaking news and they announce a zombie apocalypse. It's in your town and you have to grab whatever you can, get out, and try to get somewhere for safety. You're gonna have to pick out the right outfit. You're going to need to be prepared, and I'm here to help. I do highly recommend going ahead and buying all of these items. They will be linked below so you have them in your closet and you're ready to go because we all know this is happening. This is not science fiction. The zombies are real, and they're coming for us. The first thing you need for a zombie apocalypse is a killer pair of sunglasses. These are the Dior Dior Extreme M2U mirrored mask sunglasses. First, can I just say how fabulous these look? The color, the shape, the attitude. I see you. It's giving me a very back off zombie kind of moment. And how will these help you in the zombie apocalypse? The zombie will walk up to you. They will see themselves in the mirrored sunglasses and they will say, you are already a zombie. I will not eat you today. Good day, madam. And they will walk away. Next, kill me now, the Versace safety pin bodysuit. Stop. Versace hit it out of the park with this. They can do no wrong. It's a classic, it's never out of fashion. And while you're walking along in the wasteland that the world has become, you can look down at your wrists and see those stunning gold Versace Medusa heads. And you can remember a time gone by, a world that you may never know again. Versace, I love you. And as an added bonus, black won't show blood stains. And if the zombie gets close enough, you can use that safety pin to gouge out their eyes. Now I wanna give you a few options for shirts because not everyone has the same style and I want you to be prepared. So how about this Versace? If you didn't already know, I love Versace. Barocco flage print silk shirt. Is this not stunning? And if you're gonna wear camouflage, make it Barocco flage. And look, in the end, this outfit is going to save you. But I really do have to highly recommend that Versace bodysuit the most. I really think it's the most versatile and would work for the most people. Plus, if you see someone else out there wearing it, you'll know they're a part of this luxury addicted family and you know they're safe. You can band together. We could be called the Cassie crew. We can work as a crew to overcome the zombies. We gotta stick together. And where's our crew going to meet? Where else? but Versace on Bond Street. I'll see you there when the zombies attack. That'll be our safe haven. We're gonna get Donatella there to help us out. Now you're going to need something to cover the bottom half. For the zombie apocalypse, I have picked these Balenciaga ripped jeans with the black leggings underneath. Not only are they stylish, but they will keep you warm. And oh, what is that? Is that the Balenciaga logo peeking out? Why, yes it is. So we get a little logo in there. You guys know I'm a logo ho, but it's not too shouty. Plus, it looks like the zombies already got to you, so they'll know to stay away. And for the times it gets a little chilly, or for the times you need a little bit more camouflage, I have this. The Off-White and Katsu Off-Cat spray paint cotton hoodie. In normal times, this may not be something I recommend. However, in the zombie apocalypse, this is the perfect hoodie. Not only will it keep you warm, but when a zombie sees you, they're going to think, oh, that person was in the middle of painting their house, but then a zombie got them, hence all the red blood splatter. So there's no need for me to go get that person because a zombie already got them. It's the perfect camouflage. It's brilliant. I dare say if it's warm outside, you could even tie this around your waist backwards, have the blood splatter behind you, and as you're running away, they'll think somebody got you from behind. You're going to need a jacket, and I have the perfect one for you. It's this Rick Owens funnel neck cropped 
water repellent down puffer jacket. That is a mouthful. Couldn't they just call it the Rick Owens puffer jacket? This is the perfect jacket for a zombie apocalypse. Let me tell you why. The color is great because it can help camouflage you, and it's puffy enough that you can hide supplies and no one will know you have them. It also has this fabulous puffy neck covering to help protect your neck from the zombies. And if they try to bite you, all they get is fluff. Shoes will be critical here. The perfect shoe to survive the zombie apocalypse is this Christian Louboutin Tiketa? 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 We'll go with Tiketa. Neoprene slip-on sneaker. They're easy on, easy off, very practical, and they're fierce, yet they look very comfortable to walk or run in for days, weeks, months. They look like they're gonna stand up for you. They're gonna do their sodding job. Also, the spiked soles will help stomp out any zombies, and the red soles will blend in with all the blood you're walking through. Edit Cassie here. As I was reviewing that, I realized it may have been a little bit gory even for Halloween, so I apologize for putting that image in your head. If you're wondering about handbags, I've got you covered. I have two bags for you. The first is this McQueen four ring box clutch. Oh, the crystals on that thing would make a great weapon. You can slip your fingers through there and this will act like brass knuckles to get those zombies. Plus you could also use it as a first aid kit and stick it inside your other bag, which is the Fendi Sarah Coleman collab the FF Vertigo Backpack. Now backpacks aren't usually my style, but I'm here for this. Not only is it a practical bag for carrying supplies and running, it won't fall off your shoulder, but the pattern will hypnotize the zombies. This backpack is giving me a hypnotism vibe. It's a laying on the leather sofa in your therapist's office with the bookshelves and all the books, and they're sitting in front of you doing Freudian stuff and swinging the little pendulum in front of your eyes and saying you're getting very sleepy, you're getting very sleepy, and then you're hypnotized, and when you wake up, you're clucking like a chicken situation. Guys, let me know what you thought of the items I discussed today. What do you think? Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father, if you enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you didn't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. I just realized I forgot to put my rings on today. Did you notice my new nails? Pumpkins for Halloween. These nails are very sharp. It's very difficult to type with these. This one keeps falling off. What is that whistling? Am I hearing things? Hi guys, it's Autumn. I just wanted to say that I did this video because I love Cassie. She's become one of my favorite YouTubers this year. I've been watching a ton of her videos. I'm certain I did not do her justice. I wanted to do the accent and it just was not working. I sounded like some combination of Australian and Irish, and that's not right, because of course she's English. I also feel like uh, I look more like a combination of Southern Belle giant hair and New Jersey girl with the makeup and the hair and the, the gold chains and everything. But this video is just a bit of a tribute to her, a little bit of a love letter in a non-creepy way, just to have a little fun and show my appreciation for all the work that she does and what a wonderful channel and wonderful content she provides for us. I have learned so much from Cassie and I love her personality. She's so funny. I also wanna say that Yota and Winnie and Gwenny and Devin are all putting out Halloween videos. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have them up when I post this one, but as soon as they do, I will get their links in the description box below so you can go check them out. And of course, I will have Cassie's channel linked below because if you have not seen her, first of all, where have you been? But second of all, you must go over there first before anything else. Check her out and subscribe because she is amazing. You won't regret it. Just, you know, keep watching my channel too, please. I will also link my Halloween video from last year so you can go check that out. Last year I was Yota style. Similar wig, kind of similar makeup, which by the way, I'm pretty terrible at and my eyes keep watering because of these fake lashes. But I had so much fun putting this together. The most fun I had though really was just obsessively watching Cassie's videos and trying to pick up bits of her that I could put in this video. I hope that worked. Let me know what you thought of this. Anyway, happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.